Said that in apologies, please. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, two apologies this morning, one from Patsy Gilroy and one from George Prenta. Thank you. Any declarations of interest? Can I put down George Hurst as an apology? He won't be here. Okay, move on. Item 3, External Audit Plan for 2013-14, report by Head of Finance. Paul, do you get anything to add to this? Just a couple of things, thanks, Chair. Uh, up to 2011-12, the, the, the pension fund accounts were, were part of the Council's accounts and audited as such. But since then, we've been required to separate the pension fund accounts from the Council accounts. They're now subject to a separate audit and a separate audit plan. This is the third year we've had this separation. Uh, I've spoken to the external auditors regarding what's in their audit plan and issues they want to look at. There's no key issues and, or risks that they feel so they need to highlight. It's very much a standard external audit plan that will use for all their pension fund audits. So there's no key issues to highlight, but happy to answer any questions. Thanks. Members got any questions on the audit plan? Yeah. I thought we might have got a presentation. I thought somebody from Price Waterhouse Cooper might have been here today, but obviously they're not. I suppose that they picked up on a couple of bits, just more inquisitive than anything else. It was regards that we share our, uh, our internet service. It's a small thing, but that's no normal practice. I wouldn't have thought, or is it? That was one thing, because I've seen that as being a, a potential a risk, because we know a kind of anybody else is trying to get outside, but I'm not sure how we work with bodies. We know as close as that. It is normal practice with, with external auditors we need access to, to detailed records, but it's it's carefully managed. And again, that, that uh, electro electronic communications element in the audit plan is a standard one that they use with each of their clients. See, see on page nine, uh, it says your team and, and independence. And the first one, the first bullet point, this is audit team, it's Lindsay Patterson. He says, Lindsay is responsible, it goes on, blah, 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 and it says Lindsay is also responsible for liaison with the leader of the council and the executive. What's the executive? The executive is, is basically the officers, so you know, myself in particular in relation to the, uh, the audit plan and, and Andy Yurt as well. That's it's, uh, executive, they tend to use that term for officers. Any further questions? You can move on. Uh, I don't have any other business that's deemed uh, urgent. And uh, move on to Oak Scotland Act 1973. Confirm the decision, sir. Oh, sorry. Confirm the, uh, the recommendation on uh, item, item three there. Is that agreed? Yeah. Okay. Okay, move on to consider the adoption of the resolution to exclude the public from the meeting in terms of section 50A4, paragraph 9, part 1, schedule 7A, Oak Government Scotland Act 1973. That agreed. Move on to item six, update on.